trip into Birmingham to look for a new iPad mini for our grandsons. But you're not going to post that here. My boss doesn't know that I'm off work. Your boss does know. You turned in leave. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I did. And you are the boss. Besides your other boss. <laughs> and I am my own boss now. <laughs> oh, it's so great being retired. I love it so much. Are you going to do it one day? Hopefully. What are we going to do when we retire? When you retire? I'm going to wear some tires out. You're going to wear, wear some tires out. We're going to travel. Where's our first trip going to be? East Coast. East Coast. Definitely. We've never been. We've been to New York, and that's like our favorite place to go. And we're hoping to go back there um, this fall. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to burn the tires. I'm going to blow the tires out and get down to the parking lot. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Yeah, let's not say anything else bad though, okay? Blow the tires out getting out of the parking lot, so. Um, I had a huge uh, retirement party in December and it was really great. And then all my group, um, which I supervised, gosh, how many, about 30 all together? 30, 35 or something like that. Um, they took me to the Cheesecake Factory in Birmingham and we just had a great day. So they did a lot of special things for me and um, my secretary, and some other of my employees in the building I was in, because I supervised people on several different campuses at a community college, and they were um, further away from where I was. So um, they gave me a great retirement party. We had a lot of fun, and family was there, and it was great. So I am my own, I'm saying a whole lot to say that I am my own boss now, and I love it. I sleep late, I eat late, I take a shower when I want to, I watch movies when I want to, and you're going to watch a lot of movies when you retire, aren't you? <laughs> this man never sits still. He doesn't sit still long enough to watch a movie. I love movies. What did I watch this morning? Uh, you're Not You. It was a real sad story about, it was based on a true story. Um, I'm not real good with the actors and actresses' names, but about a lady who was dying with ALS, and uh, it, was a, it was real moving, real good. Um, I watched Fred and Elsa yesterday about two older people falling in love. Wouldn't you have liked to watch that? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. He doesn't like that. So we're headed to um, the shopping mall, to the Apple store. We have a grandson that's turning two next week, and we have one that's four. And some of you may think this is totally excess, but we're buying him an iPad mini because we bought the four-year-old an iPad mini when he turned two. We do control the time that they spend on it, and we do, or his mom and dad, and then us, we control what they watch on it, but there's so much that they learn with puzzles and educational games and all that, so it is kind of an extravagant gift for a two-year-old, but they love it. I love it too much, really, and we do have to control the time that they're on it, so we're turning in, going shopping now. It's a beautiful spring day uh, today here in Alabama, and we're going to do a little shopping, do a little clothes shopping afterwards, yeah, and uh, I told you in one of my other posts that people in Alabama own the, the um, I can never remember the name of this design. What is it? help me. I always want to say herringbone and it's not. You just said it last night. <laughs> <laughs> what is this design that Alabama Crimson Tide owns? Why do I forget that every time? Oh, you made me forget. Oh, gosh. I forget it every time I start to say it. Come on, you know what it is. Oh man. I'm, I'm just going to have, have it tattooed on my hand evidently. What is it John? Just bed. whoever that is, ask them. Who is that? It's Mama and she won't she know. Won't. <laughs> she won't know. Oh my God! I can't remember. Oh, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. Oh my God. Hold Back on, I'll be right back. <laughs> on what I'm wearing. Help me. I've retired and my brain is going to mush. What'd you say? Houndstooth. Houndstooth. I'm going to 
write that down somewhere because every time I start to tell what it is on a video, I forget. Hound's tooth, baby, hound's tooth. I got on my little hound's tooth outfit with the cute little sleeves and everything. So, ooh, you'd think I didn't live in Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Auburn is blue and orange. That's just real easy to remember. But Alabama is red and white or crimson. And Bear Bryant used to wear hound's tooth hats, right? He wore a very classic hat in hound's tooth design. And so we have, we own it. Anyway, <laughs> we're going shopping. We're going to the Apple store. Then we're going to do some clothes shopping. And so we'll be back with y'all later. Giving Reggie a fine farewell. I would appreciate that. store yes three hours later John is meeting with a genius that's not so much a genius actually <laughs> uh, so I'm sitting here watching people go by bless his heart the poor young guy is trying to help him but he's not doing very good we had an appointment uh, after we bought the iPads to um, an hour and 45 minute wait to meet with a genius. And I hate to say it, but he's not a genius. <laughs> he is told John that John's, John's company email will not pull up on his new iPhone. And so perfect opportunity while we were here buying the iPads to get that fixed. And so the young man doesn't know what he's doing and he's been working on it and everything and uh, he can't get it fixed. And so he told John the best thing to do was to um, go check with the IT director, his job. John is the IT director. I'm sorry, that was just so funny. John said, um, I'm sorry, but I've set this up on like a hundred phones and it's not working. I think we're probably gonna leave here with a brand new phone, even though his iPhone is new. I think we're probably gonna leave here with a new iPhone, so we'll see. But in the meantime, I came to the car because my back is killing me. In the meantime, I'm just people watching, hanging out. Hey, you got a new phone? Mm -hmm. And what was the problem? Uh, I think there's something wrong with my account settings on the Active Directory or Exchange server. Just so, for you? Yeah, just for me. Well, you're like the boss. I know. So it's probably something with my escalated credentials or something. <laughs> escalated credentials. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Mr. Escalated Credentials. So, so it's still not working? No, but I, I feel good about it. Okay, feel good about it bless his heart. I don't think he was a genius, do you? I think no, we waited but, an hour but, and 45 but he minutes. he did compliment me with a new free phone and uh, thank me for um, 
happy being him. patient. Happy him. Waiting three hours. <laughs> no, helping him. He said he was weak with exchange and uh, oh, you was, taught him something. Yeah, he said that was good. Uh, Good information for him to uh it was a challenge for him well good so. we're here to bless people aren't we honey i guess <laughs> okay yeah. new phone and so you kind of know what to do when you get back to work to yeah. check it yeah yeah okay i see a i see a i see a i see a spot to park everybody now colin is through target balling we're going to Cheesecake Factory. I'm gonna roll down to the Cheesecake Factory. We're on our way home. We've had a successful day getting two iPad minis and um John got a new phone, and then we ate at Cheesecake Factory. So we're tired now. We look it too. You tired? You ready to get home and get in your recliner? I'm wide open. You're wide open. What'd you have at Cheesecake Factory? I had a big nice salad. Big nice salad, and I had the chicken stuffed tortillas. Is that what I had? No, what was it called? I think it said something with enchilada in it. Chicken stuff enchiladas. Yeah, that's what I had. And then you ate part of it. Yes, you did. He ate part of that. So we've had a good successful outing today. Uh, the sun is setting. It's um, after seven o'clock. It's been a nice day. It's been a nice, a nice evening out. Nice day out. We spent too, way too much money though, didn't we? Uh, we spent enough that I could have made a down payment on a tractor. <laughs> you could have made a down payment on a tractor. That's true, isn't it? <laughs> He's very John wants a tractor so bad. He wants a tractor. We have uh, five acres of land, or about four acres of land, behind our house. And John has been working really hard to clean the, um, the woods out so that the boys will have a great place to play and he's made me uh, some really good walk-in paths and all that kind of stuff and so but now he needs a tractor to um, keep the maintenance up on it don't you exactly. exactly so we've spent enough this afternoon to make a significant payment on a tractor <laughs> I'm sorry um, our boys are rotten we spoil them we do um, but it's fun. That's what you have grandbabies for. And that's the reason they're called grand babies because they're grand. You spend more on them than you would your kids, don't you? It's going to be a busy month, though, because we've got a lot of things going on in April. We've got birthday parties. And then we're going to the beach at the end of April for our niece's wedding. So I'll make sure and do some video of that. But I believe we're fixing to head home, put on our pajamas, rest for the evening. And it's just been a great day and I'll leave you with this the sun's already set but there's still a beautiful sky and I'll leave you with a little bit of that talk to you later